In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. During the time young Samuel was minister to the Lord under Eli, a revelation of the Lord was uncommon and vision infrequent. One day, Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had lately grown so weak that he could not see. The lamp of God was not yet extinguished, and Samuel was sleepy in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. The Lord called Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So he went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So Eli said to Samuel, Go to sleep and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. 
Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Thus all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, came to know that Samuel was an accredited prophet of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord. And he stooped toward me and heard my cry. Blessed the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry, or to those who stray after falsehood. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said, I, behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight. And your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you O oh Lord, no. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a, fe with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him, said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the, near, to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. You might have some friends or close ones telling you, close ako dyan sa taong iyan, o kaya close ako sa paring iyan. 
close ako sa kaibigan o kaklasik o katrabaho mo na iyan. When we say these words or express this affection that someone is close to us, that we are close to him or to him, to him or to her, marahil po madami na po kayo sigurong pinagdaanan ng taong iyan. Marahil you are really close to each other by distance. Malapit dahil magkapit bahay o talagang malapit sa sa ang mga lugar kayo mapunta. No? Hindi na kayo pinaghiwalay, no? Katila kamatayan na lang po yata ang maghihiwalay sa inyong dalawa. O kaya marahil I am close to that person because closeness would entail that whenever I would have favors, I would need something, immediate answers are given to me. Closeness would entail affection, would entail connection, at least by first and foremost physical distance. We heard how Samuel was cold. He was sleeping inside a temple, a place where you can really feel or say that I am close with God. And this is not to tell you that it is good to sleep inside a church. <laughs> Samuel was called in that specific context that he is feeling the closeness of God in that place. But then, my dear friends, closeness would not only be about distance, but also relationship. God called Samuel to be a known prophet, but it will always be the end of mission. God was close to Samuel in order for Samuel to bring the closest closeness of God to people. We can also see the same action of closeness in our gospel for today. Jesus did his ministry not from a distance or by simply looking from the top of his view, but closer as he can be. And take note, closer as he can be. He came to the house of Simon's mother-in-law. People were bringing to him sick people, people with diseases, people with the bad spirits in them. And we can still remember what was his command towards the end of the gospel. As a sign of his closeness, he went even to the other side of the town in order to preach and to do his ministry. God wishes to be close as often as he can be. This is how close this God is for us. He is not only close because we are close by distance, but even close even from the recesses of our hearts. Napakadaling sabihin ng madami po sa atin ito. Pero madami ding mahirap magsabi na may Diyos na close sa atin at close tayo, ng, at close tayo sa Diyos natin. He might not be there through a warm body beside you, but He will be bringing people to you to let you feel that He is close to you. He might not really speak as I am speaking to you right now, but He will be using others' voice to comfort you and let you fear and let you feel His loving kindness. Hindi lang sa handang tumingin, pero handa din siyang lumapit sa atin. Ang ganda po ng ginagamit natin sa Tagalog. Malapit, distance, malapit, ibig sabihin 
talagang ang puso nyo tali na sa bawat isa. My dear friends, before we might even say that I am close to God or we are close to God, God said it first. I am close to you. I am always close to you. He will not only look at He will not only look from afar, but He will be coming close to us to check on us, to raise us up, to call us, and to bless us. Please stand. Like the people who brought to Jesus all who were sick or possessed by demons, we commend to our Heavenly Father all who are filled with pain and sorrow and in need of healing love. For every petition we shall say, Lord of compassion, deliver us. Lord of compassion, deliver us. That the church may always rely on the Lord. In trials and difficulties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of compassion, deliver us. That the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving people of the world, especially those who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of compassion, compassion deliver, deliver us. That those who suffer from depression and anxiety may find in Christ a sure anchor and refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of Lord compassion, of compassion deliver, deliver us. That those suffering through illness and who find life an intolerable burden may see Jesus in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of compassion, of compassion deliver, deliver us. That the dead and those who mourn their loss may find hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of compassion, compassion deliver, deliver us. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for each other and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord of compassion, deliver us. Almighty Father, watch over your family. Protect us and keep us in your care. For all our hope is in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, join us tonight as we go live for our 200th Healing Rosary for the World. We will be leading you the praying of the Holy, of the Holy Rosary together with our Archbishop Jose Cardinal Advincula. Please gather as a family, as a community, as we still pray to the Lord for the gift of healing and for the gift of peace of the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Pinagliwanan sana Puso